For a home page, the goal is to direct them to where they need to go. Whenever you have an image, making sure that it has context. When everybody is looking at your marketing, they're just screening it with so what, who cares what's in it for me. They're looking for reasons to not trust you or to not go ahead with you or to just leave. People just launch a website, slap it together and hope for the best. And in today's quick teardown, I am looking at a friend of mine, Paul Higgins, who has recently launched a very crisp, beautiful website, but I'm going to be giving him a few pointers on how he can turn it into a sales machine that makes him money. I hope you enjoy. Hey there, Paul, Alicia here from Persuasion Experience. And today I'm going to be giving you a somewhat quick video to help you find the quick wins in your brand new website to help it turn into even more of a sales machine. So I'm gonna focus on the homepage for this video and also your landing pages because it's a general feedback for those landing pages. So starting with the homepage, I wanna bring us back to what is the purpose of a homepage? And that is really thinking about what is the purpose and the goals from us as a company? What do we want to get out of it? What are we trying to get users to do? And what are also the goals of the user? So for a homepage, the goal is to direct them to where they need to go. Think of your homepage. If your website's like your brick and mortar online, think of your homepage like your front desk or your admin. That's the person who's helping them to find and get to the specialist they need to go to. So on the homepage, what I would look at as well as the navigation is what is the message hierarchy? Where do you want to move people to? So it goes back to what is the purpose of the website? Do we want to be getting more leads? Are we just trying to build a relationship? Do Is the main goal for them to watch this and to do this? Or are we trying to get them onto a call? So for example, with our new website, the goal was acquisition and authority. And that helped to guide our message hierarchy. Obviously, everything on the site looks really polished, but that's my first First thought when I come to the home page is what do you want people to do so it's not wrong to have multiple exit points right to go into different sections of the site but I would just look at that message hierarchy the next thing I would look at is just whenever you have an image making sure that it has context so for some people landing here they might not know uh, that is your beautiful smiling face and so you could have something like Paul Higgins and a little line about yourself and what you do here or like some trust like if you've got um, certifications or testimonial or something like that just remembering when everybody is looking at your marketing they're just screening it with so what who cares what's in it for me and they're looking for reasons to not trust you or to not go ahead with you or to just leave so when somebody lands here not only do we have to identify the business's goals, but we need to also understand and identify the user's goals. And so we want to make sure that they're getting here as quickly as possible. Thinking of our website as a brick and mortar store, if we have dead ends or like a confusing store layout, it makes it really hard for them to find. And that's why I just wanted to bring that up around the strategy because I don't know, but I always want to teach people the why of how to think instead of just the what and the house like this is this would be my thought process and then some little things as well the next thing would be on mobile is just looking at this scroll depth here i mean in general the headline um just making sure that it's directly always connected to what's in it for me and making sure that if someone reads this it's very clear like what you do and how it will benefit them so I would say like the what you do is there i'll help you scale your cloud consulting business faster but why should they care so it's kind of connecting like the feature to the benefit and that's just using like the words of the target market in there as well so going back to mobile uh, just some things around like scroll depth here potentially but the main thing is like or the main thing that my eye was drawn to was this ebook and not being able to be read on mobile and making sure that 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 is easier to read it's obviously a really nice design but making sure that it's also easier to read when somebody is on mobile then going back like everything else makes sense it obviously depends on 
what are the goals of the website for you and the user, which will then impact that message hierarchy on your site. I also think you could build credibility higher up here because this, this is your site, right? Paul Higgins mentoring. And so I want to see proof higher up because if someone comes here, if I think about the user, they're probably thinking, well, is this guy legit, right? Like they're going to maybe be thinking that you're in the market category of mentoring, coaching, consulting, high skepticism. We need to overcome that as quickly as possible. So you want to show that you're the solution for these people as soon as they land here. And the best way to do that is typically proof, right? So the navigation, this comes back to the message hierarchy and understanding what are our business goals and what are the user goals. But the main thing that I think is when users are looking to make a decision to work with you and there's high skepticism, what would that be? And I think that having in the navigation something that said reviews or results, something that they would use in their words, um, having that there where they can go to would make it easier for them, right? The goal is to just get them there as quickly as possible. So that's the other thing in the nav. Now, when it comes to your money pages, AKA your landing pages, we want to remember that these are effectively your digital sales person. And with these, this is what makes a good landing page in general. One clear call to action, a strong golden hippo offer, and copy that talks in the, ta the target market's language and strong social proof used with intent, purposeful social proof. So if I start to go through yours, the first thing that I notice is that we don't have a call to action above the fold. But if you think of their intent, it's work with me, they come here and then there's no button. So if they are ready to work with you and they know they want this, we're kind of making them work for it a little bit, right? So that's the first thing is a call to action button that shows what's in it for me. And it's not about a good way to screen a button is if it's about the product or the, or the business, that's wrong. If it's about their end outcome, that's the copy on the button I'm talking about. That's the kind of CTA button that we want. And I'd put a little testimonial or five stars or some sort of proof underneath it to help remove the friction of the click as well. Now, other stuff like the headline and you would need to just like ask, does this, is this like their dream outcome? Is this like what we do and how it benefits you? Is this in their words? the number one most important thing. I'm obviously not 100% sure, but that is how I would be thinking about the page. But the number one thing for any page, any landing page to get you results is to remember what is this selling? So to an extent it's selling you, but probably what we're trying to do is get them on a discovery call, right? Which means that we need, when we're doing lead generation, because that's what we're doing, is we need to show them that they're gonna get value out of this call, whether they go ahead with us or not. So we need to figure out how can we show immense value, this golden hippo offer, this immense value that we're gonna get them to their dream outcome and we're gonna solve their problems for them and get them closer to that desired after state out of their crappy before state. So you, because I know you're amazing, would already give so much value on those calls. And it's often just a matter of pulling out and figuring out what is that value you already give. But you also want to understand you have the curse of knowledge. So these people right at the start of their journey, what do they want to see? What's going to make them go, holy mackerel, I need to talk to Paul Higgins. This is the most incredible offer. Even if I don't work with this guy, I know I'm going to get value and I'm going to come off of the call better than when I went in. Because the, the reality of the situation is most people have a week offer, right? So scheduling a discovery call, that doesn't really sound like I'm getting anything out of it. The other consideration is whether you want to have pricing on the page, whether you could get, um, whether you could have like, is this for you? Well, it's for Mary and Mary is archetype one and it's for Ben and he's for archetype one. And that's how we try to use social proof with a bit more intent to help obliterate objections. But just to recap that for the landing page, I would just look at dialing up that offer. Like how can you make it irresistible to get on a call and just remembering what is the purpose of the page? Are you trying to get someone to buy? Is that what happens? Or are you trying to get somebody on the call? Because otherwise, um, maybe you need a separate page that you send people to. I would have to understand more about your sales process, of course. Remember when you're scanning your page to have to be scanning the copy with, so what, who cares, what's in it for me from the target market's point of view, the purposeful social proof and the call to action above the fold. 
Finally, on mobile, see how we're missing this call to action? Same stuff applies. I would question this sticky newsletter because um, like you only want them to sort of take one thing. I would also just look at taking out some of this scroll depth as well and like looking at some of the font sizes to make sure it's consistent and readable. But do you want them to join a newsletter on this page? Maybe that's an, an exit intent pop up on desktop or do you want them to uh, contact you and to become a lead? So it's just remembering like what is the purpose of the page and to not confuse the user. You want to be extremely clear. This is what I want you to do. Obviously, overall, beautiful website, super polished. Those are the things that I would do to help take the conversions to the next level and turn it from, if you want to, from like more of a, this is about Paul Higgins into a sales machine. So that would be like what I would focus on if that's the transformation you're looking for. Otherwise, hit me up if you have any questions, but I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching today's video team. Let me know in the comments your number one takeaway that you can start using on your website. Or are you feeling brave? Why don't you pop your URL or a company that you love's URL into the comments and I'll do a teardown in a future video. Remember team, knowledge is power, but without action, it is useless. So I hope you take something away from today's video and start actioning it on your own website to turn it into a super slick sales machine.